Hi friends! Um, I'm in Copenhagen and I didn't actually think that this would work so it's pretty cool that it did. Um, it's kind of windy here. I am at the Louisiana Museum of Art um, which is about an hour outside of Copenhagen. I took a train to get here and if you guys can see behind me there's the ocean. There it is. Yay. So I'm just doing, um, so many of you have asked, I put a little poll out on Instagram and they're like, what should, and I was like, what should I talk about? And a lot of people have asked what it's like to solo travel. Um, and this is something I have a little bit of experience with, not a ton, but I do happen to love it and I do, um, it doesn't frighten me to solo travel, but I think that's because I started traveling when I was super young. I was very, very fortunate that um, when I was 13 or 14, my mom was working in Europe a lot. So um, I haven't seen a lot of the national United States parks, but I have seen a lot of Europe. So I remember our first Europe trip, I might've been 14 or 15 and um, we had a huge, this is back before cell phones, back before you could easily get a hold of people. And I was traveling with my brother and we, um, Hey Becky, um, we got, our flights got totally messed up. And I remember being in the Schiphol airport and we were there like overnight. I remember not having slept and just like being vill village, village, it? Vill you know what I'm trying to say, uh, vigilant, <laughs> trying to be vigilant to get us to where we were going. We we're trying to get to Luxembourg. And I remember arriving in Luxembourg and seeing my mom and just like, you know, bursting into tears. But that was the start of her basically teaching us how to travel, teaching us to not be scared of using the train systems, teaching us to not be uh, scared of asking people for directions. So I guess I've been led by example. So showing up in a country that I've never been to, it, it's okay now because I've, I've done lots of other things. So I'm um, traveling in the US by myself is awesome. It's so easy, obviously, like you understand. Uh, how to navigate that. Traveling in Europe, I love the the feeling of just not knowing anybody, but there's also that familiarity. I have not yet traveled in like South America or Asia, so that's the next thing. And honestly, I probably would want to go with a buddy for that because I just have no real understanding of um, how those cultures work for a traveler. Um, but Copenhagen has been absolutely incredible. Um, it's so easy. There are more bikes than there are cars. Like it's a totally uh, pedestrian place to be. Um, and everybody here speaks English. Um, when I travel by myself, I don't talk a lot. I mean, I guess that sounds uh, normal, but it's kind of one of the biggest pleasures for me is that I wake up whenever I want to in the morning. I go wherever I want to. I read a book in a cafe for as long as I want to. And those things are really, really life giving to me. Um, so today I got up and, you know, had a two hour breakfast in a cafe while I finished this book that I was really into and then got on a train and it came to this museum, which is just incredible. Like guys, this is my view right now. Like, can you see there? the ocean um, so just being out in the countryside a little bit and willing to take that little bit of a risk and I had to ask three people three three people how to like navigate this because um, stuff happens all the time when you're traveling so the other thing that you kind of have to just get on board with when you're traveling is that things don't go as planned so trying to get my first step of this trip was going to visit my friend for um, for a couple days in New York City and I had such a debacle trying to get to New York City that I only had like a morning with her but because of this debacle I realized so basically I got to the Des Moines airport my flights were changed reschedules a million times and because of all of this craziness someone at the airport like I handed them my passport for the third or fourth time and somebody finally realized that I had an expired passport with me. So if all of this craziness hadn't happened, I would be in New York trying to get to Europe with an expired passport. So, you know, the universe has my back. Um, so, and like right now there's a train st strike in Sweden, which has affected my flights to Amsterdam. So like I had to go on and book a new flight at my cost. Like these are just the crazy things that happen when you're traveling and, um, if you try to control too many things, then it's just like not that much fun. So um, I don't plan a lot when I travel. Um, I have the basics. I have my hotels. I have my flights. Um, honestly, I don't even really research that much before I get there. I just like to ask people where I should go. Um, there were a couple of people who um, I know in the U.S. that were traveling to Copenhagen right before me. So I asked their suggestions. But for the most part, I just love like walking around a city, seeing where the day takes me. Um, 
and just like ex absorbing a whole nother culture. For me, like eating the food of the culture is really, really important. So um, sitting in a restaurant and enjoying meals, I, I've noticed that I eat a ton slower when I'm by myself. And I really, like, really enjoy that. And like I bring a book and I have a beer and um, I just love the meditative process of traveling alone. Um, of course, like I love traveling with others because you get to talk about it and you get to share the experience and you're not the only one staring at your Google Maps the whole time. And can we just talk about how amazing it is that we have Google Maps now? Like that we can use Google Maps anywhere in the world to get there. Like people who are um, like students that are traveling now who have their iPhones, you have no idea how lucky you are because I did this before iPhones and uh, totally different experience. I was lost a lot. Um, I'm barely lost now. So um, thanks for watching today. I, next Wednesday, I will be in Germany somewhere. Um, and I'll be with my friend Whitney, who's my travel advisor, who like sets all this stuff up for me because I can't be counted on to plan ahead. Um, I plan ahead for my businesses, um, not for travel. So she does all of that for me and we'll probably be hopping on here to say hello to you guys. So thanks for watching and I hope you guys are doing well stateside. Bye.